Hello guys, it's Akim here and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm sorry this video came this late. In fact, I was busy fighting alien. So today we're going to break down the new 3D futures in Not Video 8.0. And this future gives you more control when creating your 3D environment and tracking your 3D objects similar to 3D Blender. So let's get started. So when you click the 3D settings, it unfolds all these new features in Node Video 8.0. So I'm gonna add a 3D object from the 3D Asset Store to show you how it works. So we've got a new interface with camera and scene view. The scene view is like the main workspace showing the overall 3D environment, similar to 3D Blender. The camera icon is like a monitor screen that shows you the camera's viewing points. So let's break down the new features. The main light reflects on the entire 3D object but you can also change the direction to a targeted area. You can also increase and decrease the light brightness and choose to change the brightness color. We also have shadow intensity and quality, which you can adjust. The point light is a great way to add basic lighting to your 3D objects. You can adjust the position of the point light and reduce or increase the range if you're aiming for a particular spot. Like the main light, it also has intensity, color, and shadow intensity. The spotlight is also a light source that shines in a specific direction, highlighting a particular area. The primary purpose of the skybox is to enhance the visual environment of your 3D scene by providing a realistic background. It gives you control to change the sky color and ground color, and you can play with the sun size to change your environment's atmosphere. It also gives you the flexibility to add your desired background style. Node Video has also added improvements to the lens flare feature. Now you have the option to choose your desired flare type and with more options to play with. Post-processing features refer to effects that can be added to a rendered object. The current effects available are motion blur, depth of field, and bloom. So by enabling motion blur, it creates a blur effect on moving objects, making fast camera movements look smoother and more realistic. You can adjust the blur intensity and quality. Depth of field allows you to blur things that are far or near, making the main subject visible or out of focus. Bloom adds a glowing effect to bright areas, making light objects look more intense and eye-catching. Next, I'll show you how to create a 3D scene and animate a 3D object. First, I'll add keyframes to the position, rotation, and field of view to create a 3D scene. So I'll create a simple camera movement using the monitor screen as the view guide. I'm adding motion to the 3D object by adding keyframes to the object transformation panel. I'll add some basic movement to the 3D object and track the movement using the 3D camera. With all that set, here's a playback review. So the camera movement might not look perfect, but you can always expand your keyframes to make it smoother. Look at me, I know you can see this. <laughs> 
Next I'm enabling the point light to add some cool lighting animation to the 3D object. I'll start by adding keyframes to the position and range, then sync the light direction with the camera movement. Finally, I changed the color to enhance the light look. <laughs> so I'm going to enable the motion blur to make the camera movement look realistic. So let's add a solid background layer to the 3D object. You might encounter some motion blur lag after adding a solid layer, but once you've started rendering your project, everything becomes fine. Finally, I'm going to show you how I added a realistic background to the 3D object. First, I import the panoramic image I got from Polyhaven. You can find the link in the video description. So I'll head to camera settings and enable skybox, change the type to panoramic, and select the image as the texture. So this method easily lets you create a cool environment for your 3D scene. Close your eyes. And tweaking the color lets you adjust the atmosphere's temperature. I'll also enable depth of field to enhance the overall look. So you've probably noticed some changes in the modeling panel. The 3D material settings are now located in the transformation panel with additional features to enhance your workflow. These new features will also give you more control to add more details to your 3D object. Node Video has also improved 2D animation tools like Puppet and Mesh Deformation won't be cut off by transform control. This means after applying animation points, you won't experience lag when moving the footage around. They've also added the spray particle type, but unfortunately it doesn't work on my device. So my final thoughts about Node Video 8.0, aside from being more accessible for mobile 3D creation, it still has a lot of bugs to fix. But either way, let's hope they will do that in their next update.